What does a lucid dream look like? In today's video, I'm going to share with you the reality of what it's like to be in a lucid dream. So let's get started. Hi dreamers, well you've probably seen those videos here on YouTube claiming to show you what a lucid dream looks like, but normally they're just someone lazily borrowing someone else's footage, normally from superhero films or skydiving or some kind of extreme sport, thrown together with a bit of inspirational music and not really anything of value. But is that what lucid dreaming really looks like? Well, the answer is unsurprisingly no. Unfortunately, you've been catfished when it comes to lucid dreaming. You know when you see an advert for a burger and it looks really delicious and plump, and then you go to the store, buy the burger, and you get this floppy little piece of rubbish? Well, essentially, that's what these What Lucid Dreaming Looks Like videos are doing. They're giving you false information about the reality of lucid dreaming. So if you want to know what lucid dreaming really looks like, today I'm going to share with you five true facts about what lucid dreaming looks like. Number five, very normal indeed. Well, this is unsurprising because you've spent your entire life here in reality, in the normal world, experiencing normal things from the mundane to the super interesting, but mostly pretty average. And your dreams basically reflect what your life is about. So when you're in a lucid dream, you're not instantly a superhero with amazing instant superhero powers. Normally you're in your bedroom or in your living room or hanging out with your friends or some other pretty average dream scene. Lucid dreams, most of them start off somewhere very, very normal indeed. Number four, kind of dark. Now this is something that nobody really tells you about, but often lucid dreams will start in dark scenery, especially if you get lucid at the very beginning of the dream. So it could be a room with most of the lights off or a rainy nighttime street, something like that. This is because often in the dream world, the visual element is the last thing to form. And if you fall into a dream consciously from waking life, so a maintained awareness dream, often the visual element hasn't fully formed yet, but the same can happen near the end of the dream as you're nearing waking up. So be prepared for some lucid dreams to be a little dark, mysterious dark scenery, normally in pretty average places like a street, but don't worry about it. You just need to wait for the visuals to switch on. The best thing to do is to head towards a source of light. Number three, without time. Now, this is a bit of a weird one, but obviously dreams don't exist in the physical world. They are not constrained by time. So you might find yourself in a lucid dream that looks like the 1980s or the 1940s or the time of dinosaurs or the far future. Lucid dreams can look like anything and anywhere and anytime. Number two, a mirror of you. So lucid dreams are built from your personality and your memories and your interests. So your world of lucid dreaming is going to look like the inside of your mind. So if you're a gamer, your dreams may well reflect the gaming environments that you play. If you're someone who spends a lot of time in nature, it's likely your dreams will be in nature. If you're someone who lives in a city, your dreams are likely to have cityscapes. It really depends on where you've experienced in your waking life and what your interests are. So lucid dreams can be absolutely fantastical and really far out and multi-dimensional, but they can also be incredibly boring and very, very average. They're all the things that make up who you are. So basically your dreams will reflect you. They are an interdimensional mirror of self. Number one the operating system of the mind. So when you get past your early lucid dreams, the ones that are based in the same perception as waking life, you can start to peel away the layers of the mind and you'll realize that what you're experiencing is the software, the operating system that the mind runs on, the subconscious mind. Now this is where the magic happens. 
because things can suddenly get very strange and very surreal indeed. If you think that superhero fantasies are an interesting kind of lucid dream, try delving into the true nature of the subconscious. If you've heard about DMT experiences or psychedelics, those are only scratching the surface of what the subconscious mind is like. You can go hopping through seemingly alternate dimensions of reality. You can see the code of the mind unraveled. Lucid dreaming, when you truly push the envelope, when you start to explore deeply, becomes very, very surreal. So be prepared for the most transcendental, crazy experiences of your life and finding out that you are a much stranger creature than you realize. So the reality is, anyone claiming that they can tell you what lucid dreaming looks like by giving you a five minute video of extreme sports and marvel action is basically diminishing the wonders of lucid dreaming. Let's put it another way. What does a human life look like? You can't condense that into a video. The human experience is vast and impossible to pin down. There are so many things that you can experience, so many places you can be, so many thoughts you can have. And dreams are that amplified and elevated and without boundaries. So what does lucid dreaming look like? Well, it looks like the vast diversity of existence and life and thought. It cannot be expressed in words or images alone. You have to live it. You have to open that door and explore for yourself. So are you ready to take the adventure into the world of lucid dreaming? And if you are ready, let me know. Right, hell yes, I'm ready in the comments and hit the like button and subscribe if you're new here. And if you really enjoyed today's video, please consider supporting my work by leaving a super thanks down in the comments. It makes everything I do possible. Anyway, that's it for today. I'm Daniel Love, The Lucid Guide. This has been Lucid Dream Portal. And until next time, stay lucid. ask yourself, are you dreaming?